Well, good morning, John. I am still recovering in various ways from the Project for Awesome. The last of my physical consequences is that I put a lot of socks on my hand at one point. It wasn't a big part of the Project for Awesome. There were so many socks, and they pushed on my hand so much that I got an ingrown hair on my hand, and it hurts. I am, however, still working through my, my emotional and psychological consequences. One way to do that is with a Project for Awesome meme review. Last year, I was able to go through pretty much everything that was uh, uh, sort of created as a part of the Project for Awesome. This year, there were over 600 pieces of art and memes. I have narrowed that down to 250 of them. And there are, last year there were three categories. This year there are six. We've got Crank Green, we've got John Purple, we've got To The Moon, we've got Other, we've got Art, and there was one other thing. Oh, just memes. And since this is a meme review, we're going to start off with the just memes. Here's one. We'll never get to three million. Uh, and the nerd Fighteria says, I took that personally. Because John was not ready to live up to all of his promises. And yet, now, he must. Working all my night beams. Down, down, oh. Henry Green gets born. Dominoes fall. 2022, John gets whammed in the stomach. I call this icy milk. I say, in a room in my home. This is not my home. It looks very nice. It looks very far off the ground. They took the time to make sure I was wearing weird socks, which is... Accurate. Possibly there's an octopus named Hank in, in the Nemo movies. Uh, and in this one, I'm it's it's a green one, and it's looking at Beanie Sanfurbs. Good old Beanie Sanfurbs came back for for uh, some guest appearances, but was not the mascot of this year's Project for Awesome. We'll get to that. We're going to need a bigger banana loca, because me and Brennan Lee Milligan were trying to figure out how we're going to stuff different things full of beans more efficiently. <laughs> this is John trying to to figure out the wordle with me and just not being able to hit vivid, even though we had the first four letters. Kitty time is a thing during the Project for Awesome, and there was an armadillo, uh, which is not a kitty, but the chat was confused. Darcy is a dog who starred in a good portion of the Project for Awesome. Got a little carrot every time they hit $5,000, so that dog was paying close attention to the stream. John persuading the chat against tattoos. Hank, talking about crabs. I was very excited about crabs this Project for Awesome. There's always beans in the banana loca. <laughs> There's always money in the Benina stand. You got both. There's both of those things happening. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time Hank Green said corndog asked me, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice, right? Is it time for me to explain Crank Green? Nah, let's do it later. Just look at it and be confused. Be a good crab, the balloon said. Look at me. I look wonderful. I look like a crab. Jeez, there's a lot of crab memes in here. I guess I do have to explain it. I... I popped a balloon and it told me to be a crab and it said, it said, be a crab, you have to be good at it. Part of the challenge was being good at it, so I had to ask everybody very earnestly if I was a good crab and, and they seemed to agree that I was. <laughs> I'm once again asking for, give me the crunch now. Donating to support charities? Nah. Donating so Darcy gets a carrot? Yeah. I forgot about this moment until I saw this meme, but yeah, I did shout that once when someone was drawing a cursed Furby. I was like, it's not, not cursed enough yet. I have to do a good crab. I did shout, oh, my knees. I did it a long time. My knees hurt. So at one point during the Project for Awesome, I stuffed a corn dog full of beans. And this meme was made, which has made me laugh more than anything else. It's a normal corn dog. <laughs> it was not a normal. There were beans in it. This was also made as a follow-up just to like add layers. A normal corn dog. It's a corn dog. It was not a corn dog. <laughs> I don't know why it's Liking to eat their cursed foods, Taha and Hank. Yeah, so Taha built a terrible sandwich and it turned out he kind of liked it. I did the same thing. I stuffed baked beans into a banana and like it turned out it was pretty good. This is a great meme that is specific to the person who created it. It's time you learn about money and the importance of whack. <laughs> Please make sound financial decisions. We don't vibe check on P4A. I think I said this in like the first hour and I was like, this is the, this is correct. At one point I said that I really wanted my forehead to be on Wikipedia and somebody made it happen, though only temporarily. I didn't mean for it to be the one that I had written butt on. The balloon made me do it. Uh, is this a meme or is it just a thing that I kept saying because I popped balloons and they had tasks inside of the balloons for me. So the balloon made me do a lot of things. For clarity, the banana loca is a device that is supposed to put filling inside of bananas. And I used it to put fillings that shouldn't be in bananas in bananas and also baked beans inside of a corn dog. Because I, because I wanted to and it turned out it was delicious. So I was right. Have you heard the good news? Very early in the Project for Awesome, I got a little bit obsessed with whether or not foreheads are part of the face. It turns out according to all definitions, it totally is. So I gave up on that one. Crank is what they call the crab version of me. Doing what the balloon says. Knees holding me back. They hurt. 
right now, though not from being Crank, just from being Hank. Make a normal project for awesome cake or make a terrible crab. The terrible crab is what got made. Thank you, Choppa, for the beautiful terrible crab. We'll get to that. Project for awesome and baked beans really do go very well together, um, just like baked beans and bananas. Oh, I didn't even notice there's a tiny little Beanie Sandfurbs down in there. This is just a dinosaur with a space helmet on yelling about how you are awesome and worthy of care and respect. This was my desk after the Project for Awesome, and somebody noticed the baked beans with the spoon still in, and also confetti <laughs> that had fallen into it, right next to the Fugu Poison Blowfish flavored potato chips from Rhett and Link and, and the Mythical Team. I have cleaned up since. I actually cleaned up kind of rapidly because I knew that if I didn't do it soon, I wouldn't do it at all. Though there is lots of confetti around. There's actually some stuck to the light that's above me. It is, as John said, everywhere. Like I will be finding it for years. This is the story of the hour, moving away from Beanie Sanfurbs and toward Crank Green, who, at least in my portions of the stream, was definitely a, played a starring role. And I, I, we saw less and less of Beanie as the show went on. John's big moment, on the other hand, was this, where he went for some purple hair dye. This was chosen by his children. And then some, some mustache. Uh, pink dye. It comes from a spray paint can, so it's just like it's it's a beautiful thing. It's true. There's only one way that you can kind of get away with writing blood on your head as a 41 year old. So I'm glad that I found the way. This is certainly the case for me. Uh, the Project for Awesome is the flex tape that we all need right now to stop the giant hole in our acrylic water tank. <laughs> Tiltify, which is the website that we use for our like donations crashed immediately when the Project for Awesome went live. So uh, this was created by people who, during those 15 minutes when we couldn't get in, were like, I want it! Apparently the chat didn't love my commentary when I was shoving beans into the corn dog hole. Another one. Yeah, I wasn't looking at all. I was I was in my own zone. It was a lot of work to try and make the Banana Loco work correctly. So, you know, I, was just, I just was saying what was happening. There was a magical piece of confetti at the beginning of the stream. Maybe Spiderweb, maybe Static Electricity, maybe Dave the Fish watching over us, maybe just a project for Awesome Miracle. This meme always, of course, hits you right in the feels. Uh, but wow, they found it. Was I a good crab? No, I'm told you were the best. Hank using live stream time. Charity videos or Beanie Sandfirms? Can't you just like do this both at the same time? This is the face. <laughs> <laughs> he was so panicked about it. Okay, I like it, Picasso. Do you want a Marie Kondo and ask if it sparks joy, or do you just want to go through your house and see what you could sell for charity? Because that's what John was doing. And it worked. When donations are sky high, like a flying pizza pie, it's a Torre. A Torre is our friend from Save the Children who visits us every Project for Awesome stream to talk about the work that they are doing. And that is the last of our memes. Actually, there was one more. <laughs> John did a blindfolded taste test and uh, he, was he was tired of sardines. Obviously I mixed the dinosaur ones in there. I, I didn't do a great job of categorizing it, it seems like. But here's some more dinosaur to the moon, destined time, Project for Awesome memes. You are a T-Rex of the James Webb Space Telescope and no one can take that away from you. We've also got, I want to send you to the James Webb Space Telescope. That dinosaur mask and helmet really did do it. It was very iconic. And here's just a beautiful piece of art. He's very encouraging. He is on a backdrop of space. I am going to send so many dinosaurs to the moon. God bless Destin. I am once again asking you to send a dinosaur to the James Webb Space Telescope. This is what Bernie Sanders actually wants for the world. I received $500 for charity. You receive a completely free dinosaur trip to Mars. It's a good deal. This was super cute. There was a proposal. And so we have made some loving dinosaurs. I don't actually know what this is about. I don't know if I missed this moment or if this person just made a beautiful fairy dinosaur. More dinosaur on the moon. And then this one is amazing because it's all illustrated except for in the dinosaur's mouth. You can actually see Destin. We're going to the moon! This is a lot in one category. And this category is called Crank Green. Starting off with this from Rachel. It's just, uh, I want to be a crab. So now we've got album cover art for the hit single, I want to be a crab. This is the thing. If you told me I was a bad enough crab, I would have done it again. And so everybody had to struggle with that decision, but you were all very kind. Amazing pelican art. I'm having the boba fish and I got a crank green on my pelican nose. I'm wearing a Beanie Sanford shirt. Everything's perfect about this. I want this jacket. It's so cool. Now Beanie Sanford is watching me on a stage trying to be a crab. And I get that. And I get that I've got the word butt written on my forehead. And I get that I'm saying, am I doing a good job? But why is there weird blue lightning coming out of my eyes? It levels it up for sure, but why? Crank's daily diet in its natural habitat. I got that pure leaf unsweetened iced tea, which I forgot that I did talk about in the beginning. Got chicken in my mouth. We were talking about how, chick how crabs like chicken, and then I got a corn dog. 
Um, I like this uh, just because of how chaotic it is. You can slap my eyes with glasses on any crab, and it looks like there's Crank Green. All this big old face. I think that this person was uh, making this like sort of repeatable NFT style art with beans wearing coats, and this one is the crab. The crab bean wearing a trench coat. 473 beans in a trench coat was a an early joke that I can't even really remember the origin of. I've lost it. This is a cute little one. Somebody at Thought Cafe did this one. Uh, obviously. And oh, it moves. It moves. It's a jet. This is amazing. Uh, the energy of it. This was a Photoshop job that I then used to create a filter so that I could actually hang out with people as Crank Green on the stream. So anything is possible. And then art was made based on that. So this is like a, a painting version of that Photoshop. You got a Furby crab. Why not be a crab? You have to do a good job. Is adorable little crank green there. Just like, that's exactly what I look like. Then, then this! Look at his face! And then cute ones. I mean, there's like the, hor the kind of horrifying ones with the human mouths, and then there's the cute ones. And the more cute ones. Even this one's got a plaid shirt on, like I uh, usually do. And also you can see this one's got really rock hard abs. And then our final piece of crank green art, here, here it is. I get eyes, normal eyes, and I also get crab eyes. Thank you to Alyssa for that. I should mention that if you wanna see the creators of all of these, if you got the digital download bundle, all of these will be uh, labeled with the people who actually made this art, which we were able to do this year because we had them submit it. Most of these, some of these I found on Twitter and I they were not in the digital uh, Nerdfighter art pack, but some of them are. And that brings us to, now that we've done Crank Green, we of course have to do John Purple. So obviously John with purple hair and a pink mustache, surprisingly kind of elegant once he got through the crisis. Though it, in this picture, he's definitely still in the crisis moment. And no, John, it's not toxic. They wouldn't, I, I mean, maybe a little bit. Look at that boy, I love that one. Then he starts getting cool. Look at this boy. Maybe he should have a pink mustache and purple hair all the time. Got very good Pizza John style here. I would love to see it spray painted on a wall somewhere, legally. I got purple hair and a pink mustache and I've got a serious message to deliver. This is a really cute one. You got a vibe and you got a threat. I think that John made some kind of joke that was this, but I wasn't there to hear it. But regardless, the art is beautiful. This is Princess Pizza John from Alice. The skirt goes very high up, but I love—I do love it. Like the color scheme is great. The pink mustache and the purple hair is actually really good. Ah, that one's great. Like very, very 70s Freddie Mercury. This is a really cute, look at him. This is my favorite brother. I love the idea of this being a Batman Joker, like being a bad guy and like, but he looks like that. Like what is that guy like? He's not like John Green. He's getting business done. And and if you give him a quarterly report that he's not happy with, you're out. Look at that man, I'm terrified. Good Pizza John, oh no here. Oh, that one's very small, but you see it. It's a Princess Pizza John. This is so cute, I love it. A thousand stars. How do you quantify this? Thank you, Hannah, for this. Thing. Same quote again, except it, I'm there now, and it says butt on my forehead, and, and John is looking very serious, but now he's got his great, his great hair and mustache. And then this with, you know, Crank Green and John Purple together. Happy 15 years indeed. What a marvelous time it has been. There's a lot of other. There's a good amount of 473 beans in a trench coat. There's a good amount of bean crab, man. Yeah. More beans in a trench coat. Crabs love chicken. So if, if crab was Pizza John, it would say chicken. We've got a pelican with my glasses on. Got lots of crabs. Just drew a lot of crabs. You got me, Hans Hoffman, science goth mothman. Can I explain it? Not really. Decrease world suck. You have to do a good job. Kimmy made a bizarre beasts pin of Crank Green, the bean crab. Not bean crab, just a regular crab, but he is surrounded by beans, of course. We talked a little bit about people getting confused uh, and thinking that an armadillo was a cat. This is just a lovely armadillo cat. Me as Dr. Horrible getting ready to do some really dastardly experiments. This is my science boylesque show. Mercury Stardust proposed this idea, which I think is a great idea that I'm not going to do. Here's John hugging Chewbacca. I missed this part of the stream. There was quite a bit of John and Chewbacca stuff. It's beautiful. They are very happy together. <laughs> when Brennan and I were doing Banana Loca stuff, we found the Banana Loca website and we found out that there was a Banana Loca community. Here's Never Sneezer Scrooge confronting the spirits of Sneeze's past, present, and future saying sneezing is not normal. I love that he's just got Pizza John face. More beans in a trench coat. 
From Luisa. From Luna. We're here because we're here. Pizza John. This probably just should have been in the art folder. This is from Mickey. Me with butt on my head and a lot of lipstick on. I mean, I believed Joe Hansen to my very core that he was giving me good advice on how to put on lipstick while I was blindfolded. He was like, my wife says you should always push really hard. Like... Why did I think that was a real thing a person would say? It turned out well for entertainment value, but I cannot believe I just believed him. This! Ooh, I love his face! He looks very hardcore, but he's got confetti on his hat, and he's holding up a sign that says Kippers. He's wearing a purple mask. Here we are, the, the Green Brothers, and we're adorable. Legitimately. What a good couple of brothers. I'm very happy to be to have this relationship in my life. Here's the Project for Awesome miracle uh, confetti that was hanging in midair. Uh, some kind of glitch in the simulation. Definitely not a spider web. Some more beans in a trench coat. And here is World Suck over time, and it goes down, and it goes up, and it goes down, but over the long haul, we head to a better world. Thank you to at Waffly Original. And that is the last of the others, which means that what we have left, all that we have left, is the art. Starting off with this We're Here Because We're Here Infinite Ouroboros thing. Also is from Waffly Original. Look at that. Darcy in a, in a dinosaur costume. Very good. Very cute. Chaos during Destin's segment uh, where we've got De <laughs> Destin's mic was not able to handle his enthusiasm. Does not start at zero, obviously. We just want to be clear about the scale of the graph here. Started very high, continued to go very, very high. This is beautiful. When it was small, just the thumbnail, I was like, is that hope made of beans? <laughs> I can only see beans. Great sticker pack. We've got the Yeti. We've got the color of the inside of a watermelon. It's no. We've got Curiosity Rover. We've got Beanie Sandverbs asking for your financial support. Lots of awesome socks hanging out around there. This uh, is a can of Heinz baked bananas because I got very confused at one point. I thought that somebody was saying that there were cans of bananas and it, it was literally like there, there was no reality to this. I was just confused, but it was good for the art because I love this can of Heinz baked bananas. This uh, is, is from Catherine Liu. It's a watercolor page of a lot of the things that went down during the Project for Awesome. So you got all the good stuff here. You got dinosaurs in love on the moon. You got me being a crab. You got beans inside of a corn dog. You got John Purple. You got beans in a trench coat. You got Darcy. You got Crank Green. Thank you for sharing your skill and talent. Some more uh, dinosaurs in love on the moon. This is the template for the beans in trench coats. Um, here's one of them. This is me, Crank Green, and then there's there's John Purple. Should I make this my icon on Twitter? I mean, I, yeah, I should. This, this is what it's like to be inside the Project for Awesome. Here's more of Crank Green's Science Boylesque show. I do need to get a crab shirt. The light-soaked days are coming. I thought this was really pretty. The hope is the thing with Emily Dickinson's forks. Can I explain that to you quickly? No, I kind of can't. I just have to I just have to move on. Here is Choppa's Ridiculous Crank Green Cake. This is an actual cake that you could actually eat, and it's me as a crab. I don't need to talk more about that. You understand how amazing that is John and I have done very few like photo shoots together we did one at VidCon where this picture came from that that you may have seen of us on a yellow background and to adapt it to include John purple and crank green <sighs> you are a good burrito self-care bunny DFTBA baked beans with some confetti in it don't forget to be ant don't forget to be ant you got more going to the moon you got hankerfish tie-dye art you got Darcy being a absolute monarch here you got John Green being some kind of monarch as well. I don't know where this came from. I don't know if this was referencing anything in particular or if they just did it. This is a, a beautiful piece of art of the cake itself. This said, this is notable. And I don't know if this was something that was said on stream or if it's just uh, a banana with this is notable underneath it, but I liked it a lot. We're here because we're here. Art, Taha's really bad sandwich. I gotta say, I would hate this sandwich. Full screen, three million excitement with the dinosaur and the crab and the John John Purple all together. Here's some art that somebody did of, I think, themselves enjoying the Project for Awesome over a long, uh, a long weekend. I didn't see this one during the P4A at all. So th this one came up afterwards and that this pelican with Crank Green in its mouth was just absolutely extraordinarily charming to me, so. Thank you so much for making that. 23 flavors of confetti, Dr. Pepper, DFT bean. This sticker sheet, very good. I don't get this one. I don't know what's going on um, from Sylvia here. I don't know if this is a reference to something, but I'm, <laughs> it's really special. Things that make me laugh in this image. One, the giraffe's horn is hitting one of the lights because it's so tall. Two, the giraffe is lifting its hand up so it can read its notes with its little backwards knee. Three, there's another giraffe in the audience watching, which gives me the vibe of supportive family member and or significant other. Four, 
it's got my guitar and the, the open mic host is wearing a Pizza John shirt. Five, the woman's face as she looks to her friend, like, what is happening right now? The, that woman is all of us. And then maybe six, the face of the open mic host who's like, I don't know how to get the mic up to your mouth. Sylvia, thank you so much. And then we have, just because you pella can doesn't mean you pella should. Never follow that advice during the Project Frost, but I never will. And finally, though, I absolutely do want to go on forever and ever. I'm going to end with a piece of art that I, it was unexpected to me. I did not expect to get what this is, which is a poetry collection of things that we said during the Project for Awesome. Get your greasy corndog hands off dictionary.com. Face industrial complex for the love of God. We lose no one at the Dino Space Program. Oh no, we did lose someone. <laughs> Destined to float forever, feeling the air leak out and the void rush in. <laughs> this is what the balloon told me to do, is what I will say to my wife later tonight. That was because I'd just written butt on my forehead. You can read that whole thing if you got the digital download bundle, as well as se several other non-meme creations, and all of the art and memes that I didn't have time to show you on here. John and everyone who participated in the Project for Awesome, no matter how you participated, thank you so much for all of your enthusiasm, your creations, your donations, your videos, your votes. It was really wonderful and exactly what I needed at that moment. Thank you. Meme reviews are exempt from the four minute time limit as established last year. And John, I will see you on Tuesday.